Hey everyone and once again welcome to WS Cryptech English channel. Myself Omar Taskir. Guys in this particular video of Facebook ad series we are basically going to talk about FB CLID which means that Facebook click identifier right. So guys in previous video we basically discussed about UTM parameters and we have seen that how these UTM, UTM parameters actually looks like. So guys as you can see on my laptop screen we have seen the this kind of URL uh, with the UTM parameters which are associated with our URL right. Now we have another thing which is uh, there with your URL which is basically Facebook click ID. Now you will see something like this in your URL also right in your outbound URL right whenever you are browsing Facebook and whenever you are clicking on anything which is there on Facebook and if it is taking you outside Facebook right you will see something like this right Facebook click identity right or identifier FBCLID and then you will have some encrypted data over here encrypted string over here right. So uh, this is basically by default right you do not have to worry about this thing that why this thing is coming over here if you have entered UTM sources then along with that also you will see some FBCL ID. So whenever uh, there is any URL which is basically taking you outside the Facebook uh, you will see some FBCL ID over there. Uh, let me show you let me show you with more examples. So we have one thing over here right we have one ad over here now if I am going ahead and clicking on this ad right. As you can see, we do not have any UTM parameters over here, right? We do not have any UTM parameters over here, which means that uh, the advertiser has not entered any UTM parameter or advertiser is not doing URL tracking. But we have this FBCLID thing over here where we are having this FBCLID and then we have some encrypted string over here, right? So uh, this information, so this encrypted string uh, sends some information back to Facebook system, right? UTM parameters were sending the information back to analytics system and this time this FBCLID is actually sending information back to Facebook system. So this is why we actually require FBCLID you cannot control this thing it is by default there right. So whatever link you are clicking right if it is outbound let me click on this thing right if it is outbound you will see uh, FBCLID over there right. So whatever link is there on Facebook if it is outbound it is taking you outside Facebook as you can see uh, we are over here at another so we are over here at another URL over here we are again seeing this FBCLID right. So uh, no matter on what kind of links you are clicking uh, whether they are organic links or whether they are from uh, paid advertisements if it is taking you outside uh, the domain of Facebook. Uh, then definitely you will uh, you will see that FBCL ID over there right. Let me click on another ads. So uh, there is another ad let me click on this thing. Uh, it's not ad I believe okay it's not ad as you can see over here but uh, as soon as I have clicked on this. So uh, let me hover on this and let me open this website and let us see that if we can see any FBCL ID over there or not. Yes it is there right. So no matter if you are coming from ads or if you are coming from organic results or organic feeds right. Uh, every time if uh, the URL or the click or the link click whatever it is if it is taking you outside the domain of Facebook you will see some FBCL ID thing over there and this again sends back some information some uh, click related information that like what are the different attributes which are associated with the click right. So this sends back information to our Facebook system right. So this is by default there and you do not have to worry much about this and that is it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye.